boss up boss up boss up all right so this is just a short quick to the point video on how to fund your pocket options account again how to fund your pocket options account that's connected to your income club app okay so let me share my screen go to my financial app let me pull up my pocket options okay so here we go okay first thing you want to do is oh you see that's american otc follow what she says she's on apple otc and then the dollar sign okay so we got that good just wanted to put that on there because sometimes it changes when you're not on here for a while it'll change okay so just to let you know that all right okay so let's go so first thing you want to hear right up under my name shantae k you see it says deposit right you're going to click on deposit the income club wants you to do crypto in, excuse me, crypto in, crypto out. It's your best way to do this. Anything else, you're on your own with it because they really don't recommend it. But some people actually um, told me that you can withdraw. You like, like you can go down here and click on withdraw. Sorry, I got a lot of people contacting me now, right? You can withdraw, right? And now, hold on one second. They give you different methods to withdraw your money. Okay. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, continue. Okay. Now they, now this person where the country they were in, they were allowing you to withdraw from your visa and MasterCard. You can withdraw your money, your, your, you know, have whatever, have you put it in, you can withdraw it and you can um, add it to your visa and MasterCard. I would not suggest that. I just really wouldn't. If it's crypto in, you want it to be crypto out. So if you put in Bitcoin or you put in Ethereum, a Litecoin, a Tether, your US, UST, that's how you, whatever you put it in, you want it to come out the same way. Now, remember, if you're using Cash App, because I wouldn't recommend Coinbase, I wouldn't recommend Crypto.com, none of these places, because here's the thing. They want you to be on their site using their stuff making your trades and doing all that kind of stuff so if they see that you are you know you're sending your money here or you grabbing your money from there and putting it there and you're not trading on their platform you're not doing things on their platform at any time because they're not government regulated they can shut your account down they can freeze your account and it's their right because it's their platform understand what i just said okay and so you can lose all your money. All right. You see what I'm saying there? You can lose all your crypto. You can lose all your money. All right. So I would get something like um, Meta, MetaMask, um, uh, a cold wallet. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. I would get something like that. Take your money, ride from here, Bitcoin, you, and use that wallet. Use that wallet address. So when you set up your account, you see where it says Bitcoin address, right? You would put that MetaMask address in here, that cold wallet address in here. Da, 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 da. I would not take my money and transfer it straight over to Coinbase or to um, uh, uh, Crypto.com or anything. Any of them big, them big commercial ones. I would never do that because you could lose your money. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that little golden nugget. All right. So if you're depositing the same way you deposit. It's the same way you withdraw crypto in crypto out. So if you want to add money, you click on Bitcoin. You see what I did. Let's go back. I clicked on deposit. Then I clicked on Bitcoin. Right. And then you put whatever amount you want to put in on, under here. I wouldn't do any more than $100 at a time just to be on the safe side or whatever, because even this app right here doesn't really want us to use artificial intelligence if they find out or they you know doing a little uh what do they call a audit which they do every now and then and they see that you're using an outside 
um thing they even tried to tell me hey people are complaining about the income club and that they're losing it's you know da 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 i would be really careful with them you know and i haven't had any issues with the income club okay so this is what i'm saying so you got to be even careful with this platform you don't want to deposit too much and you don't want to win you know like a whole lot of money and leave it in there and all that because they do audits every now and then that's why i tell you to follow my lead do the demo account first, get that, get the algorithms going for you. Make sure you stay in the same market, whether it's London or New York or, or Tokyo, whatever. And then go over to your, um, real account, put about $50 in there and do $5 bets. Once you get your account up to maybe like a hundred dollars, then you can up it to like 10. If you lose, double it to 20. And if you lose again, get out for 12 hours, get out. So the algorithms can reboot. And start liking you again. I hope y'all picking up what I'm dropping. Okay. So just say you want to do $50. Okay. You can do a minimum of 50. Some people can do 10 in certain countries. But me, they only let me do 50. You're going to hit continue. And say, for instance, you got Cash App. You're using your Cash App wallet. It really doesn't matter. Whatever wallet you want to use, whatever crypto wallet address you want to use, it doesn't matter. Okay. So with that said. You're going to go down here and you see where it says to this to the address. Boom. Now, so you see where it says to complete the payment, please transfer. They just showing you how much to transfer. So you could actually copy that as well if you want to and then put it in your app. So you'll know exactly how much to copy. I always tell people add 2%, add 2% for the fee. Right. And you got to remember, if you want it to go in there right away and you don't want to wait two business days for it to go in there, then you got to hit priority. Once you put it, put this particular address in your cash app, Bitcoin wallet or whatever wallet. Right. You want to make sure that you uh, you got enough crypto in there that's going to cover two percent and you got enough income uh, uh, crypto in there that's going to, you know, afford whatever fee that they tell you how it's going to be. If it's priority, that means you get it within 10 minutes into your account, your your um, pocket options account. OK, hope you all following me. All right. So then what you do is you just hit copy. Boom. Now, you can also, if you have another apparatus, you can always, always have your crypto wallet up, right? Have enough in there to cover everything, right, 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 right. And you can pull up your crypto camera. They have a camera that you can pull up, right? So let me see if I can pull my crypto up and I'm going to come back over and show you. I don't know if they're going to let me you be able to see this or not. Yeah, they will. Hold on one second. If you got two different apparatuses, like you got your pocket options up on a computer or another phone, and then you got a separate phone, right? Or something like that, right? So I'm going to go here to my cash app. Now, pretty much all crypto wallets got this, right? And say, I'm going to sit there, go to my Bitcoin. You see that little square up in the upper right-hand side next to the um, bell? You can click on that. As soon as people leave me alone. Okay. You can click on that. And you see there's a camera. And you can just take this camera and move it out to bed. You can take this camera and actually hold it over that QR code. Remember, we got they got a QR code right there. That way you don't have to worry about it. You just take an ant, take a quick little picture of it, just hold it over there. You gotta push no button and none in. That's how it sounds. And it'll automatically grab the right amount. It'll automatically grab the right amount. And if it's not the right amount, it won't it won't do it. That's why I say if you want it to go right away, you pay that extra two dollars, three dollars, whatever it is off of that amount to that fifty dollars, a hundred dollars that you put over there. Right. Plus two percent because they're going to take some money out when you take it from your wallet over to their wallet. Not they're not taking money out. Your app is or the crypto, you know. Yeah, there you go. So let's not complicate that. OK, but boom, you could do that. Or now I have that wallet. Right. I copied. I hit the copy button. Boom. You see, it's copied to the clipboard. Go back over here and they're going to say send. So normally I would put fifty dollars right here, but I would put like fifty five or something like that. You know what I'm saying? For two percent plus the little two dollars, something like that. You want to have at least fifty five to sixty in there. If you're doing a $50 transfer, then you're going to hit the little arrow. If this is in cash app or whatever crypto wallet, if they, you know, you hit the send button or sometimes they just have the little arrow send, right? And then where are you going to send it to? So say I'm going to send $50. 
Okay. Right now, if I hit send, they're going to be, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So I'm going to send it, right? Send Bitcoin. And now here's the thing. If I don't, obviously, if there's not enough in there, that's not going to come up. But you're going to have $50 right here, right? And then when I hit send, they're going to ask me to send it where, right? And then I'm going to paste that crypto address from where? From here that I copied. Right. I'm going to place it there. So when I hit the have the amount there, hit send, they're going to say send it where I'm going to drop it. Just like when you do send somebody money through cash app and you say send $50, going to say send it to who? Right. And you put their cash tag in there. It's the same thing. And then you hit send and they're going to say send priorities and, you know, whenever, whatever. If you want to send it for free, it may take three business days to get there. Just be mindful. So, again, you click on deposit. Right. You click on Bitcoin. OK, you put in the amount. You hit continue. You scroll down. You can either take a picture of this right here or you can copy it. Hit the copy button. You go over to wherever your Bitcoin address is at, your crypto address is at. Right. Boom. There you go. You understand what I'm saying? You hit, you put the amount in there. You hit send. They're going to say send it where. You drop that address in there. You paste it, right? You hold your finger on it and paste it. Then you're going to hit go ahead and send, right? And then after you hit send, they're going to ask you if you want it immediately. That's priority. They may charge you 2 or $3 for it or whatever, no biggie. Or if you don't want to pay that fee, you can just say send whenever, you know, and it's going to take three business days to go there. Once that's done, in pocket options, wait about 10 to 15 minutes and you'll see that it's refreshed up here. So if I had spent $100, well, now it would be $130.55. I pray that helped everybody. Let me see. Do I want to give you any other little freebie or whatever while I'm here? I think that's it for now. I think that's it for now. I think that's it for now. That's how you want to set. That's how you want to fund your pocket options account. Okay. I thank you all. That's how you fund. Boom, bam, boom. Drop the mic. It doesn't matter what crypto wallet you send it from, but boom. Okay. And I, then I gave you a little golden nugget in the beginning about how to withdraw and everything. And it's the same way. If you want to withdraw, you just hit withdraw. Okay. And you do the same thing. How much you want to withdraw? Say, I want to withdraw. And then, you know, some they only let you do like $90 here. Sometimes they let you do 10 in some places or whatever. But here in the United States, nine. so you put the amount right there. You go over to your, your, your um, cash app, right? You go over to your cash app. You grab your crypto wallet, you write you. So if you're in cash app, let's just say you're in cash app. All right. You click on the money down here. You click on where it says Bitcoin right there. You scroll down. You see where it says your Bitcoin address. You click on there. You copy it. You go back over to your pocket options and that's where you drop it. Okay. Put the amount right there. Sorry about that. You drop it right there. You put the amount right there. You use BTC. Boom. Right. And then you hit continue. This is too easy, everybody. Y'all got it? I hope y'all picked up what I'm dropping. Boss up.